Welcome to week seven of the Ascot Quilt Along. This week we're going to be sewing a block called Borrow and Lend. For this, you're going to need eight three and a quarter inch squares in background fabric and eight two and a half inch squares. In fabric A, you're going to need four three and a quarter inch squares and two two and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. And in fabric B, you're going to need four three and a quarter inch squares and two two and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. You can make your very own sampler quilt with the nine block Ascot quilt along pattern. Scan the QR code or visit the website today. Let's get quilting. We're going to start by making the half square triangles and for this we're going to need the three and a quarter inch squares. We're going to start by drawing a diagonal line on the wrong side of the background fabrics. Now you will notice that I've cut out these two fabrics A and B incorrectly. I've cut one at three and a quarter and this fabric at three. So um, I'm just going to go ahead with it. I will have enough fabric with just three inches, uh, but you get a little bit more leeway when you cut three and a quarter. So I'm going to start by drawing a diagonal line on the wrong side of all of the background fabrics. I'm going to pin these right sides together with fabrics A and fabric B. Now where I've cut these at three inches, I'm going to try and position them centrally on the background fabric like this. And I'm just gonna check So I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the line. So I'm now going to remove the pins and then cut along that drawn line. So 
So we need to trim these to two and a half inch square. I'm going to show you how to do that with a standard ruler and then I'm going to um, do all the rest of them with my favourite ruler. So when we're using a standard ruler, we need to press the unit first. So we're going to set the seams and then press the seams towards the darker fabric. So with a standard square ruler, you need to line the diagonal line on the ruler along the stitch line and then you need to line the bottom and left edges at just more than two and a half inches and then cut along the right and the top. Turn your unit around and then lay the diagonal line along that stitch line and this time line the bottom and the left edge at exactly two and a half inches and then cut up and along the top. So now you have a perfectly trimmed piece to two and a half inches. I'm going to trim the rest of these using my favourite ruler. This is a quilt in a day six and a half inch triangle square up ruler and the link for this is in the description of this video. Now for these you don't need to press them open before you start cutting. You take the ruler and you line the two and a half inch line along the stitch line and then you cut up one side and down the other. So I'm going to continue and do that with the remaining half square triangles. Now these are the green ones that were cut at three inches instead of three and a quarter. There is still some to be trimmed, but not as much. So now these need to be pressed. So I'm going to set the seam and press towards the darker fabric. While I've got the iron out, I'm just going to press these strips because they have been slightly folded. I'll come back to those in a moment. So these now have to have the dog ears cut. So now we need to lay this out in block order. I'm just going to refer to the sketch I made in my notepad. So each spool needs to look like this. So I'm going to lay these out and then I'm going to sew these sections together. Thank you. 
So I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine and sew with the quarter inch seam. So I'm going to set these seams and press towards the square. So if I'm going to bring a spool back. looks wrong. I'm put that to one side. I think I'm going to have to unpick that one. But this one's correct. So I'm going to pin these together. So that one looks right now. Hang on, I must have just had it in the wrong place. So definitely wrong. It's right there. It's right there actually. I can get away with that. So that goes like that and that goes like that. So the blue ones. So I'm going to take those back over to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam. So again, I'm going to set the seams and I'm going to press towards the square in the centre. So now we're going to start making the spools. So they need to look like this. So I'm going to do one side at a time. Thank you. 
So I'm going to take those to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam. So I'm going to set the seams and press in towards the centre rectangle. And now we're able to place the other three patch on the other side. So when you're matching these up, these seams here should also match. So I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam. So I'm going to set the seams and I'm going to press them towards that centre rectangle. So now we're ready to lay them out in the block layout. So just going back to my design. Okay, so basically we're just going to sew them together in two columns and then join these two columns together. Now we have pressed both these seams into the middle um, so you might want to flip one of them back, um, which one, I might flip that long one back, in fact I think I'll press that long one in the opposite direction. I'm going to press both those long ones in the opposite direction. So now they should nest. It's going to be the same for this one, so I'm going to press these green ones in the opposite direction again.
Okay, and I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam. I'm going to lay these in block layout and we're going to want to press the seams in opposite directions. So I think initially I'm going to press towards the blue spools. Now it's quite possible that I need to press some things in opposite directions. So let's have a look. Yep. So these long seams, I'm going to press away from the block. And now all those seams should intersect and we do have some point, a point here that needs to be matched as well. I'm going to start with that. So these seams are going in opposite directions, but I'm still going to use the positioning pin technique. And if you right click on the link above, you can, uh, it'll take you to my video about perfect points. So I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew the last seam of this block. Now I'm going to set the seam and then press the seam open for a flatter finish. Congratulations, you have made the Borrow and Lend quilt block. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for Duck and Ducklings.